Hello guys, we have the updated box office, and yeah, this is a pretty good week for the box office, all things considering, okay, with Disney finally getting the win they've been so desperately needing for the past year. So if you do not know, Disney has been struggling, struggling for the past year, trying to figure out why no one wants to see the movies, okay, why no one wants to see the movies, okay, because... You know, and again, this is a bigger Hollywood problem overall, but it seems that Disney finally got the win they have been so desperately needing. Okay, so Inside Out 2, is this so strange that they are projecting this movie of 80 to 90 million? And, and then, you know, this, you know, considering that it's often on most anticipated movies list, you know, near the top as well, this and Deadpool and Wolverine, and I think also... Another movie that was also on there was Godzilla 2. And they all usually underestimated. They got underestimated Godzilla so much. That it was oh, oh, 40 to 50 million dollars for Godzilla. And it opened to 80 million dollars. Um, Two times it's so called projections. It seems that history is almost repeating itself. With Inside Out 2. Doing two times it's original projections. It's just. Do we need these box office. Quote unquote gurus anymore. They're not so good at predicting it. Say if they're a Kung Fu Panda, is it a movie? Open oh, open the 40 billion? What? Open oh, the 55 billion? How is this possible? Okay, like to keep underestimating people who go out to see these movies. Okay, you know, so Inside Out 2, Disney has fun. They have not updated the internet. They have not updated the international sales for this movie. I don't know if they only reached like two markets. So Finland has not released yet. Uh, Brazil, uh, not yet. Uh, Japan, not yet, and New Zealand. So, they have not, and Spain as well. Spain and Italy and China don't have releases yet, and also Hong Kong. And one of the markets do not have it released yet, but, yeah. It seems that Disney finally has a successful movie as well. Also, they have not updated the international box office besides Friday and before Friday, so, yeah. They have not updated the, you know, Box office, but for once, we're gonna have good news for Disney. We have good news for Disney. You know, no normal bad news for Disney. You know, this movie costed two hundred million dollars to make, but this movie will probably easily make back at two hundred million dollars. It'll probably go to like three hundred million dollars in the U.S. alone. Usually, openings like this. Let's compare this to the last very successful movie, animation wise, and that's Mario. Okay, where's Mario? Yeah, so comparing this to Mario, okay. Mario opened domestically to $146 million. Of course, the five day, $208 million. I think it was $204 million. Oh, yeah, $204 million, you know, for the five day. Because this is a five day opening. But this is comparing it to Mario. It's This is Inside Out 2 and this is Mario. I think this is the best comparison as this was the last very successful animated movie that made so much money. Mario eventually made up around $574 million. Will Inside Out 2 make that much money? We'll wait to see. But it seems that a movie that opens this much will probably make a lot of money. We can also compare this to um, Finding Dory. That's another movie you can compare it to. As well. That came out in 2016 though. And Finding Dory, I think, is a another good comparison. As that movie still made up around four hundred eighty-six million dollars domestically, and five hundred forty-eight million dollars. Oh yeah, I remember seeing Finding Dory in the theaters. We actually went to get, I we actually went to go see Finding Dory in the theaters because we loved Finding Nemo so much. Like, oh my God, they're making actually making a Finding Nemo two, and we went to go see the movie because it was a Finding Nemo two, and yeah. It actually was a pretty good movie. Not as good as the first movie, but... Not as good as Fire Nemo, but... Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. And both Mario and Fire Dory made a billion dollars. That means... Inside Out 2... According to my projections, will make over a billion dollars. So yes, Disney... You have had a... You will probably have a billion dollar grossing movie. Considering the fact that both Mario and Fire Dory... Also opened to this amount of money... As well. So... Yeah. Mario movie... 146 million dollars as well. Again, 
This also goes with the whole thing. Oh, Hollywood, you know, they need to stop underestimating these big movies like Kung Fu Panda 4 and Godzilla. Like, these movies opened way higher. I said Godzilla is going to open higher than projections. Doesn't base on pre-sales. It's not going to open to $80 million like these idiots are predicting. Like, they, they said, oh, it's going to open to $40 million. Okay, you know, $40 million for Godzilla. You know, it's not going to make any money. And it, it made way more money than $40 million. Obviously, it made double the amount it was supposed to make. So, I'm saying around $60 million, which is still pretty much more than $80 million it made as well. But, yeah. Inside Out 2, Disney finally can pat them, themselves on the back for having a successful movie for once. Next is Bad Boys, Ride or Die. So, this movie is making a decent chunk of money. It still has yet a ways to break even. But I think this movie is going to break even. I think it's going to make money at the very end of its run. It only needs to make like $50 million more million to break even or so. So yeah, Bad Boys will probably make money at the very end, making $160 million worldwide. So next is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So this movie, I don't know if they have, uh, they have probably not updated to that itself but international sales yet. But this movie had a small drop of only 4%. This, was, uh, this actually was unheard of. But yeah. It did oh, really well this week. 4% drop from week to week, despite losing a lot of feeders. Okay. Yeah, Disney... Disney had a 4% drop for Planet of the Apes. We don't know how well this movie's gonna do. We don't know if this movie's gonna continue. It's done internationally, because this movie has been out for almost a month now as well. So, yeah. It still isn't looking too great for breaking even, but yeah. Again, we'll wait to look later. Garfield movie has passed $200 million globally. We add the movie dropped 50% because of Inside Out 2 releasing scene and being making a competition for Garfield. But people still want to go see Garfield anyways. And it still made $38 million. It'll probably it'll obviously pass $80 million. But probably will not make $90 million. So yes, unfortunately Garfield and his, you know, amazing, you know, existence. Couldn't pass the 80 million. But again, this is a big L for Ron Tomatoes, obviously. Ron Tomatoes said this was like the worst movie of the year. And people went to go see it anyways. Because no one gives it what Ron Tomatoes thinks anymore. Okay, let's remember. Ferosa was supposed to be a massive success. No one went to go see it. Next is The Watchers. Again, don't know the budget for this movie. But no one's going to see it. So, I guess this is a massive... Failure? Oh, it probably has nothing to make. It's only the M. Night Shyamalan movie. So, yeah. Actually, it's made by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. So, yeah. If this movie finally passed $100 million at the box office, making it its massive milestone for if... Outside of that awful international sales, this movie has been pretty successful domestically. Problem with if is that no one wants to see it outside the USA. This is a problem this movie has. But it has dropped below the $100 million loss category, but still a box office failure, all things considering. I think this movie will do really well on streaming as well. So yeah, if we'll probably do very well on streaming, especially towards the Halloween as well. So yeah, next is uh, Verosa, a Mad Max saga, continues to fail at the box office and have horrible rigs. It's up 42%, but this movie is basically done at this point. Um, Yeah. This movie's performing like a Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Actually, this movie's gonna make more money than Dark Phoenix, but this movie's performing very poorly. Woke Garbage does not sell it. Fall Guy, for some reason, is still making money, but it's still not enough to break even, as this movie needs to make like $300 million to break even, which is a lot of money as well, but I think this movie's gonna do very well on streaming. The movie's out on digital, and it's still making money on the feeders, so yeah. It seems that a lot of people still want to see this movie in the feeders. But this movie is kind of dying down, so yeah. Also, Strangers Chapter 1 made $48 million. So that's about this video here. And what do you think about Disney's runaway success of Inside Out 2? Okay, this is the global sales. Yeah, I knew that wasn't that wasn't the full sales. 295 million. didn't beat Mario's $347 million, though, but yeah. I guess we have two event movies of the summer. This and Deadpool movie. I think also we have three. Uh, Despicable Me 4 is still coming out. That will also grows over $100 million as well. But again, Inside Out 2 continues to show the power of the franchise. 
And how the power of the franchise continues to make money. So yeah, th- this movie's gonna break even almost so three. Either this week or next week as well. But we'll see if this movie makes a billion dollars, obviously. You know. But again, guess given that we're comparing this to Finding Dory and Mario, which also made a billion dollars, it is very likely I can give this movie an 80% chance of making a billion dollars. There's still be at 20% chance of not making a billion dollars. I'm going to give it a 100% chance. Because, of course, this movie could have very piss poor legs. And don't want to see it a second week. But, give a sense if this movie has no competition for like the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that's about the video here. Goodbye.